Hi, so this is an entry to Audrey's contest. She wanted us to tell her what a few of our favorite things are. And so I'm going to start off with lips. My first favorite thing is Rachel Perry's Lip Lovers, Lip Butters. I have this in very vanilla and various other scents and tastes. They're all clear, but they moisturize your lips so well, and I think they're really good buy. They're around $4, but they really do last forever. So. The next thing that I want to talk about is my favorite lipstick of all time, and it's MAC Chatterbox. It's such a beautiful pink. Um, it kind of reminds me of a Barbie pink, and I actually got this back to MACing some stuff because I usually don't buy lipsticks from MAC. But I'm so glad, and I will. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta get some water. <coughs> and I will repurchase this again because it's a beautiful color, and I wear it almost every day. The last lip product is Love Nectar Luster Glass. It's beautiful on any skin tone. It's um kind of a nudie, nudie peach with gold shimmer, and it just looks really pretty. The next thing is my NARS blush in Torrid. It's a burnt orange and it looks good on, uh, I think it looks really good on pale, fair skin, ma medium skin. I've seen a lot of people wearing it and it looks really nice on everybody. And I definitely think this is worth the money that you pay for it because it's so much more pigmented than MAC blushes. Here, I'll do a swatch. There's a swatch of it. And it's just a really beautiful color. The next thing for face is my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I have this in 110 Ivory. Um, I have a MAC one as well. And it definitely doesn't even compare to this because this is good for oily combination skin. And it stays on my face way longer and it doesn't break me out. Now going on to eyes, the first thing is the NYX Jumbo Pencils. I love these. I think they make great bases for all eyeshadows. I have them in Milk and Black Bean. And I also have a yellow one, but I'm not sure where it is. The only downfall is they don't fit sharpener, so I have to get a sharpener for it. As you can see, my white's like weird because I don't have a sharpener. Oh, I just knocked something over. The next thing is Mega Liner from Wet n Wild. This is a great, great liner. It has a brush in, instead of like a felt. Here, I can do a little. And for me, it just goes on with it really smoothly. This is like three bucks, two bucks, something like that. Definitely worth the money. I will repurchase that again. The next thing is Max Grape Pigment. It's so beautiful. I thought that violet was the prettiest purple that I would have found, but grape is so much better. And this is definitely just a really, really beautiful deep purple color. So worth the money, and pigments never run out, so it's good. The next thing is my MAC 222 brush. I love this for the crease, and I love the 217 as well, but this one gives more of a defined crease, which I really like. The next thing is my Ben Nye Grand Lumiere palette. It looks kind of gross right now because I did some face painting type stuff with it. But that's for any bright colors. I always go to this. And it's just really, really pretty. The colors are really pigmented. Here, I'll do some swatches. As you can see, it's just like little swipes. And this is a beautiful highlight. So those are some of the swatches. I really love it quite a bit. I'm gonna find a, a towel. Okay. The last but not least thing is my Coastal Sense 88 color palette. I got this when I was first going into makeup and I still love it. A lot of people say that if you've been into makeup for a while you won't really like this palette, but I still think that the colors are really pigmented and definitely worth trying out. Here I'll do some swatches on this one as well just to show you the pigmentation. Those are just a couple of various colors throughout the palette. Definitely worth the 20 bucks that I paid for this. Um, I didn't get it from Coastal Sense, I got it on eBay. But it's really nice and I enjoy it a lot. So that is my video of things that I enjoy. I hope you 
liked watching this and I hope you saw some products that you haven't heard about before or didn't think of purchasing. Um, good luck to everyone in the contest and have a great day. Bye.